Okay, it is the morning of my surgery. It is approximately 6 a.m. I'm in the car right now waiting for my mom to come take me to the doctor's. I have a 7 a.m. call time, which I'm kind of thankful for because I feel like if it were to be like 9 or 10, I would just be like up at 4, like freaking out. <laughs> Dane commented on my video my last video about ICL and he said that after the surgery he was able to see far away but it was blurry to see up close and after I believe like the second day he was able to see up close and read which is fantastic because if I can't read I can't work so I am excited I'm nervous I'm sure once I get in there I want to be like freaking out because again the tournament contact but I'm sure it will be fine and a few points that I wanted to make is I've been having to take these two drops in my eyes for the past three days, twice a day. Um, don't ask me what they do, I have no idea. But that's what I've been doing. And I didn't have to stop wearing my contacts. And um, I just had to stop wearing them up until like the day before, so yesterday uh, was the last day I could wear them. And also, I don't have to fast, and I assume because I'm not being put under, I don't have to fast. I don't know why I don't, but I don't have to fast, and I didn't have to stop wearing my contacts, so all that's great. And the thing about the eye drops is that you can definitely feel it down, coming down your throat and taste it. I don't know if you've ever seen the film, All I See Is You, but in the film, the Blake Lively's character is taking these eye drops, and her husband replaces them with water. And now that I'm like, okay, I'm putting these eye drops in my eyes, I'm like, there's no way that I wouldn't be able to tell if someone did it with water. Because not only do you tell a difference like on your eye, but also when you swallow, like you're gonna know the difference between yucky eye drops and water. So that's something new that I learned. And next time you see me, I will have new eyes. Good morning, it is post-opt day one. And for my surgery, I was actually extremely quick. I would say I was in and out in maybe two hours. But the actual procedure was probably 30 minutes. What they did is they put a bunch of eye drops in my eyes. They had me lay down on a table and I saw all these different colors of lights. Like I saw like pinks and oranges and then the actual light like right above me. So he had me stare into the light, which there wasn't a way for, there wasn't any reason for me to like look to the sides or anything like I was afraid of. And of course I took an anxiety pill on, on my way there that they prescribed me. So I was really calm. They put in the decisions um, by they, I mean Dr. Dubrai, and I couldn't even notice anything um, weird happening. I didn't notice them touching my eyes. I never saw the utensils. I really didn't see anything happen and they just covered my right eye, they did put the implant in my left eye and then did the same thing with my right. So it was actually a really simple process. After surgery it felt like I had dirty contacts in my eyes, it was not fun, it was very uncomfortable. I was prescribed eye drops, two eye drops to put in my eyes every two to three hours until bedtime. And it also felt like a, like a, you know how like a disconnected TV has like specks of black and white? I had a bunch of different specks of black, nothing was clear. So day one, post-op, I can fully see anything. It's not like pixely how it once was. I can fully read my phone like far away to my face versus before it had to be like on my nose for me to read it. And I definitely can tell a vision difference because I can tell we're driving down the street, I can tell there are houses, I can tell there are trees, I can tell there are cars versus before it would just be globs. Like I, can, I can't see the tree, but I can tell it's a tree because I see the color is dark green, so I'm going to assume it's a tree, things like that. But when I'm looking far away, I can't see anything specific, and I also can't read far away. So that's one thing I'm a bit concerned about. Okay, so I just had my one day post-op appointment with my surgeon, Dr. Dubrai, and he said that everything looks good. There's no redness or blood signs in my eyes or anything, and just to, um, schedule my appointment with my primary 
eye doctor and to take my eye drops four times a day from now on and everything's looking good. I told him that everything's blurry and he said, well like far away it's blurry and he, was, he said that it's just gonna progressively get better um, throughout the days. So I'm excited. I had my one week post operation appointment today. It's actually three weeks post my ICL surgery because of just schedule conflicts, but I officially had it today. I not only have 20-20 vision, but my eye doctor said that I have better than 20-20 vision. So there are a few points that I wanted to make during this process and what I've experienced in the past three weeks. The first thing is, is by the third day, I was able to see perfectly. I was able to see far away, no issues with that at all. And they inputted 12.5 implants in my eyes. I officially got Vision Star implants and the cards that I got says I have negative 12.5 implants and I have two side effects the first side effect is on my left eye I have ever so slight glare on my left eye and my eye doctor said that's going to go away over time and the second issue that I have is dry eyes whenever I wake up I have very dry eyes and I have no idea why that is I looked it up online and it says ICL does not contribute to dry eyes but I've never had this problem before unless if I slept in my contact. So that's a new sensation that I'm not used to feeling. But I'll just continue to take eye drops. And again, my eye doctor said that that's going to go away over time as well as my glare on my left eye. And the last thing he said, I just have to make sure to continue to take my yearly eye exams because I still have a myopic eye. I still have a long eye. So I my vision can get worse over time, which I totally fine with because it comes to the territory and I have 2020 vision. I'm so excited. I see amazing. It's so cool to wake up in the morning and to be able to see and to be able to read my phone and to be able to brush my teeth and I don't have to worry about my eyes burning and I don't have to worry about glasses. It is the biggest freedom. I'm so happy that I have the surgery if you're considering it. It's amazing.